Hans, I'm really fascinated. I've been reading uh, a little bit about you in the shop and right. hearing a bit through other people that have been in the shop and so on. Yeah. And, um, you know, I hear that um, and I've read that you, you spent some time overseas studying with some shamans in Central America. Well, actually, I didn't actually um, study with shaman. What I, I, I learned um, a certain amount of shamanism on my own. And then I went to Mexico and Guatemala and, and spent time with, on the pyramids, in the jungles, working with shamanic energies, um, working directly with energy body practices in the, in the temples and in the jungle. Um, previously kind of learned shamanism, as it were, um, in England. On early mornings, four o'clock in the morning, uh, I used to get up every morning and go on the common and do a kind of rituals uh, and just sit on the common um, for maybe three, four hours to build up a sense of instinct, an electrical connection to the earth. And it's from there over a period of um, at least eight years before you know it really emerged in me strongly. Um, so it's been an organic form of sh shamanism. Earlier this year, I did go to Peru and take place uh, and take part in um, ayahuasca ceremonies. So it's one aspect of my work um, to, to develop my own consciousness and awareness in, in different directions. One of them being uh, connection to the to the earth as a living being. Yeah, and so I mean, how how did that start? Was it just something you felt, or this connection with the earth? Have you always had that sort of? Yes, so I mean, was there a point where it became apparent that this is? I guess it became it was it became something that was kind of like burning within me, if you like, um, it was in 1991. Um, I just felt a sense on one level of, of misunder like an alienation from the world, uh -huh. you know, kind of a sense of alienation from the modern world. And I was, uh, there was some confusion, and the confusion was turned out to be my ally, really. Because on one hand, I, there was a lot I loved about the modern world. <clears throat> and on the other hand, there was a sense that there was this disconnection from, from nature. <clears throat> and in the short term, what happened is I got more and more connected to the instinct, the body instinct and nature and the earth as a living being, the more disconnected it came, from, it came with the world. <clears throat> but the eventual outcome of this, after something like 10 years, was a resolution within myself, an awareness, a consciousness arising, that the earth itself is waking up, and that the earth as we know it is, is, is growing, expanding to include everything within the earth. That's all human artifact. All technology, all cities are in fact part of this living being. It's not just nature. Right. So this has really inspired the work to do with human evolution and the planetary evolution. Um, to understand how are there these different levels within us? How are these different paradoxes within each of us and within society? And how, you know, how are they integrated? And you have to do two things. You have to come back to the individual. You know, you have to come back to yourself, and you have to work with clients on a one-to-one -one basis. Yeah. But also encourage an understanding of the, of what's going on in the world. You can't just do one thing or the other. The yeah. individual is not isolated from society or isolated from the, from the planet. Yeah. So, so what do you do in a session? How do you assist your clients and support them? Well, in the, in, the, in the first session, the, the important thing, first of all, is to help establish a sense of awareness about the fact that there is a life purpose and, and the client knows that purpose. That's the amazing thing. Everybody has, generally, buried within their confusion, actually knows what it is they've come here to do. So that is a very potent confirmation for people. So, I mean, I, uh, you know, from people I talk to and my, my own self, I feel, yeah, there, there probably is a purpose, but right. I'm not sure what it is, and I, I think a lot of people feel that way. They but, do, yeah. Um, 
are you saying that through the astrology process it's possible to get some clarity on what it is? Yes, I mean, the, the astrology map um, really is the, is the most profound map from the point of view of the soul and the soul's purpose. That's its greatest tool. It's not so much a, um, about prediction uh, and you know, predicting specific outcomes. Yeah. Really, it's a tool for one to understand the archetypal processes, the directions, and the, and the decision the, you've made before you've incarnated. Mm -hmm. The soul sense of what it, here, it is here to wake up to, what it is to, to learn, if you like, um, and the overall mission. Within that mission, there is free will. So, you know, the outcomes yeah. are not all laid out. Sure. 